Okay, this is Ralph Bauer. I'm coming at you from Canada, right? And we were talking vision training today. I'm super excited about this. It's been a huge passion of mine for the last 20 years. I finally got a program that we can roll out that I'm super excited about. I've got an optometrist I've been working with. I've got leading vision training experts in the world that I've been working with. I'm super pumped about it. We're gonna give you an overview of it today. It's gonna be great. Okay, I'm Canadian, so this is hard for me. But I had two economists analyze data from the last 12 years of my clients. Guys, on average, picked up 0.85 shots a day working with me. That's the difference from, that would take the 125th player in the world to the 30th player in the world. That would take the 30th player in the world to the first player in the world. I've got a few videos here. Somebody asked me uh, about a month ago, they said, Ralph, you know, wh how do you, what do you attribute that to? I got a few videos here. We're gonna talk about some vision training. We're gonna talk about some other skills. Um, that are, are gonna help help our clients separate themselves and I uh, got some cool stuff to show you. Okay, so we're, we're gonna talk about vision training in, in putting. Uh, to me, this is a huge untapped area. Other sports are way ahead of us. It kills me that, that, that we're not doing this, you know, with, with, with putting. Um, so I'm just gonna show you kind of what, what we're talking about here. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know, and hit this putt. You know, that was great, it went in, but that's a 20 foot putt. So what we're going to talk about in this is perception versus reality. So I'm pretty good at perceiving that as a 20 footer uh, because I've worked on this for a bit. The problem we have in golf is sometimes we see our, our perception and our reality, uh, th th there's a little bit of a break there. So a lot of times what we'll see is we'll perceive that hole as being 18 feet away. Right? And I never really thought that was too much of a problem until I started digging deeper and deeper into this. The problem is we need to get screened. Like our, when we're hitting full shots, you know, we wouldn't think about not getting screened, you know, find out how our hips move, how our shoulders move, all that kind of stuff. With putting, we need to see an optometrist. I've got some great screens, some online training we can do. But the problem is our eyes don't line up. They're X -S -O -X -O, um, and our perception doesn't match our reality. Now, the, like I said, the big problem with that is moving forward is we have these tendencies and as we get more and more tired, let's say Thursday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, those tendencies are gonna creep out. Now the real problem is that, you know, once we get tired, we might see that as a 17 footer. And now we're watching golf on TV and the announcer's like, well, he choked, he left it short. Yeah, well maybe, or maybe his eyes were getting tired because he wasn't training them and his perception was off, you know, was getting different further and further away from reality. Now, you know, what I want us to do is I want us to train our muscles in our eyes. We have six muscles in our eyes. I want us to train those so that our perception matches reality and we can keep doing that day after day after day, you know, right until, until it gets dark at night. Okay, so here's the 20 footer we had. The problem is, our perception sometimes is a little short or a little long. With vision training, we're gonna match that perception up with the reality. Maybe an even more important visual skill is the ability to track the path from the ball to the hole. So we wanna be able to track the ball to the hole. During the alignment phase of our pre-shot routine, this is a critical skill that we're able to do that with smooth pursuit and not have our eyes jump all over the place. I like to ask people, if you go to the golf course that day and you see the line very well, how do you play? They always tell me they kill it, they play great, right? And what they do is they wake up that day hoping it's one of those days. Let's train that to make sure that happens, if not every day, almost every day.